Hello, I'm Elliot Harper, and welcome to the Marketing Cloud Best Practice Series. In this episode, we'll learn about populations. There's a lot of ambiguity surrounding the purpose and applications of populations in Contact Builder, but it's important to have a good understanding of what populations are and how they're used. Populations define contact information for a distinct group of people, or contacts. A contact is a single entity in the platform. Think of a contact as an abstract record in Marketing Cloud that represents an individual. Populations serve a similar purpose as a sendable data extension, where, in order to send an email, a subscriber must exist in the All Subscribers list. When you send an email to records in the sendable data extension and the subscriber record does not exist, it's created based on the email address field in your sendable data extension. In much the same way that subscriber records are created, a population is also used to assign an email address to a contact record. A contact record includes, at a minimum, three attributes. A contact ID, which is a system-defined identifier, a contact key, which is a user-defined identifier, and an email address for the contact. When a contact record is created in Marketing Cloud, for example, a contact is evaluated to enter a journey in Journey Builder, the population is used to determine which email address should be assigned to the contact record if the contact does not already exist. When creating a population, you should use the same subscriber key value in Email Studio as your unique contact key value in Contact Builder. Also, the field used to create the relationship to the contact key will need to be a string type, even if your contact key is a numerical value. Just remember that, as explained in the documentation, a population is regarded as a contact database. This means that any records in the data extension that are used as a population will qualify towards your contact count determination. Ask your Salesforce account executive or review your contract to determine how many contacts are included in your Marketing Cloud account. Please subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on best practices for Salesforce Marketing Cloud. And if you'd like to discuss how your organization can use Marketing Cloud to its full potential, visit elliot.com.au to schedule a call.